Hello. We're just about to start a bucket or bag trial. This is something new at homegrown veg. I've always grown in these buckets, but I've just purchased some fibre bags that I'm going to try and grow in this year. So we can run a trial, can't we? We can grow something in buckets and also grow it in bags and then see if there's a difference at harvest time. So we could grow carrots in buckets, for example. We could grow carrots in bags. We could grow potatoes in buckets. We could grow potatoes in bags. We could grow onions in buckets. Onions in bags. Leeks in buckets. Leeks in bags. Hey, we, we could try the lot. We can try the lot. Let me show you what I've got in here. There's a damp tissue in this plastic box and I placed on it uh, yesterday lots of Autumn King carrot seeds. Now carrot seeds can take between 14 and 21 days to germinate. Do it on tissue indoor and it is super fast. Super fast. These have only been on here for a day. I had a look this morning I don't believe they've germinated yet, um, but the last time I done this, and I think it was um, sometime last year, I think they only took a week to germinate instead of the 14 to 21 days. So these have only been in a day, so these are not ready for transplanting yet. I want them to germinate. So these are going back indoors, and we'll conclude this video. Um, probably in about a week's time. But I want to show you the preparation I'm going to be doing to sow these seeds as soon as they've germinated and that's important as soon as they've germinated they're going in these buckets and they're going to go in this bag that I'm going to show you. You've seen these before? You haven't? Well I best tell you what they are. That's a polystyrene base from a 10 inch pizza. You've seen these before? You haven't? <laughs> well I best tell you what these are. These are seed sowing templates that I've made and that has 19 holes in it, 19 stations and as you can see that fits perfectly on a 10 inch water bucket filled with soil fits perfectly. Okay, so if I want to sow 19 seeds equally spaced in this bucket, that's my template. Now if you want one of these templates, I'll put you a link um, below this video in the text. And I'll try and leave you a link at the end of the video. It'll show you where to go to to get a download that will enable you to print off A4 size a couple of sheets that when you tape them together, a bit of sellotape, you can cut this out, put some holes in, there's your template, put it on a 10 inch pizza base and make your planting template. 19 stations. This one has 55 stations. Now if, you go, if you're growing in 5 gallon buckets, the same link will get you a template that you can make for five gallon buckets. So if you want to follow that link, get your template. This would give us 55 stations. This would give us 30. And this is the one we're going to use. And this will give us 37 stations. Let me just take that off there and show you this. There is the prepared surface. And now I prepared that was to simply fill the bucket and press down using this pizza base and that's give us a perfectly flat surface. Now what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this template on here and mark those 37 stations Okay, let's do this. Let's start. 
and this doesn't want to go in too far by the way like that finger on there because that's where we've started this isn't going to take long is it okay that's the outside ring done now the inside ring this ring and one in the middle are you ready for this Hey, how about that? Equally spaced, how about that? How about that? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to leave this now for a, for a few days until those seeds germinate and then we'll come out and plant them. Okay, but I want to show you uh, the bag that I'm going to be using. I'll just move this Pop it over here slightly, and I should be able to get them both in shot. I hope. Okay. Now, would you believe it? But this bag holds exactly the same amount of compost as this bucket. It does, because what I've done is I've filled one of these buckets and emptied it into that bag, so I know that it does. Now, if you notice, let me see. This is bucket 37. And this is now bag 37. Uh, and the reason I've numbered these is, I, I mean, I've numbered them 37 because I'm going to grow 37 seeds in each. But um, what tends to happen is, as the growing year goes on, and these are out in the garden, and the carrots are growing on, I'll, I'll just mark these while I'm talking to you. So as the growing year goes on, and um, these are out in the garden and the carrots are getting bigger and bigger uh, we always get several days where the wind is really too strong for anything growing in the garden and certainly anything in a bag or a bucket that's sticking its head up there into the wind um, so what I would do is because these are only small, they're not that heavy I can pick them up and move them closer to the house, closer to the property and get them out of the wind and prevent any wind damage. Now, when I do that, there's every chance if these buckets are not marked properly, I'll get them mixed up. Because although I'm showing you two buckets of carrots being sown today, you can rest assured there'll be a couple of dozen of these probably within the year. And I just don't want to get them mixed up. What I want to be able to do is four months down the line, five months down the line, turn this bucket out and turn this bag out on the same video and we'll do a comparison. That'll be the end of the trial. Now it's not a big trial, but it is a trial. Right, time for a cup of tea. Um, take those seeds indoors. Let them carry on, let them get germinated. Then we'll come back and we'll plant those up. Oh, have a cup of tea yourself while you're waiting. Wow, what a week we've had. I think it's rained every day. <laughs> and for some of those days it's rained all day. Blimey, not much gardening getting done. Certainly not much uh, seed sowing getting done outdoors. Totally impossible. Too cold, too wet. But we can sow them indoors, can't we? I've done it. Right, um, so you need to have a look at these carrot seeds again. These are the ones that I put in this box. I think it was five days ago. Let me give you a closer look. Check this out. So 
so you can see the little white tails but what we don't want to do is let those get any longer and bury themselves into the tissue in this box and then there'll be a struggle to get out so we're going to sow these carrot seeds today and to help us do that pencil first carrot seed pop it in the hole close the hole up hey <laughs> come on that was easy wasn't it that was easy and the only seeds that we plant in are the ones with a white tail and that's because they've germinated and each time we plant one we close it, make sure it came off the end of the pencil just close that all up couldn't be easier could it right now you're not wanting me to do, you're not wanting to watch 37 carrot seeds being sown are you so what I'll do is I'll crack on with this um, I'll keep quiet and I'll play some music how's that? That's it. That's it. That didn't take long, did it? Right. We'll just move that uh, bag into shot now. I'll move this out of shot. But before I do that, you've probably clocked these uh, blue crates. I think they might be in camera shot. I don't know, but I'll just show you what we've got going here. 
these are my um, seed potatoes. They could be planted right now, but it is a bit cold. But the way, the forecast for the coming week is is getting warmer, so we might get some of these in. But let me show you these guys as well. These are my fast start. So I've already got potatoes growing. That potato is growing in that yogurt pot. Now if I just show you something now. Just wait till I get one of these guys out. So the potato in this yogurt pot will be sitting about there. It'll be on about an inch of uh, soil in the bottom of their compost. So look how much longer those chits are now if that's sitting a couple of inches down. I mean the potatoes in the yoghurt pots have left these guys standing. They've got a fast start and not only are they, have they got shoots breaking soil they've probably got roots in there now. Yeah so that's the fast start potatoes uh, compared to the seed potatoes that haven't been given a fast start. Okay let's get that bag into shot. One thing I don't think I've mentioned so far in this video is the mix that I'm using in these bags and buckets. Well for this carrot mix this is um, a soil based mix. It's simply garden soil put through a riddle and I've mixed some coir into the soil at a rate of roughly 50-50, half and half. And then I've threw into that a slack handful of uh, blood fish and bone. Okay, so that's what we're growing carrots in this year here at homegrown veg. Right, let's get stuck into this.
that's it then 37 germinated carrot seeds sown in this bag 37 germinated carrot seeds sown in that bucket 74 germinated carrot seeds in total sown these are some reserves uh, in a few days time we should see these maybe a week uh, and any that don't look as though they've made it we've got some reserves I'll take this back indoors put the lid on keep it damp and uh, yeah we're up and running the first trial is up and running at homegrown veg grow vegetables in buckets or bags which is best I'll take the bag and the bucket indoors now just lightly spray the surface with water no watering cans at this stage you'll just wash those seeds out we want them to stay exactly where they are since we've taken our time to place them to give them a station to give them an equal amount of room in this bag and in that bucket we don't want to wash them all to one side so it's a light spray this can stay indoors now they don't need daylight at the moment as soon as we see them appearing we'll bring them back out we'll give them that daylight that they're looking for uh, any that have missed yeah we'll replace those with the reserves here are some stills from Abroth's world from his site um, check these out looks an interesting sight I've had a look around it once or twice um, if you do visit to get your free template so that you can make your pizza base planting template then don't forget to say thank you to Lebroth tell him homegrown veg sent you um, have a good look around his site while you're there there may be other things of interest on that site for you and hey subscribe why not subscribe while you're there here's the link to that site this is homegrown veg signing out